You are to turn yourself in to the High Court of Mistelin within the next 24 hours. Upon turning yourself in, you will be held until your court date, where an appropriate punishment will be determined. Failing to turn yourself in will be considered an act of treason, and authorities will be instructed to capture you. Until you appear in court, you will find your bank and exchange registries cleared, and you will find that others will not be able to help you as they once could. With regards, the High Court of Mistelin. So basically, if we appear in court and answer for what we did, we should be okay, right? Yeah, we just need to make sure we don't get into any trouble until... You're not supposed to be here. Look, we, we don't want any trouble, okay? Just like you said, we don't want to do anything wrong. We just want to turn ourselves in. Turn yourself in, eh? I can take you to the courtroom myself. Ah! Are they? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure when they're found looking like that, we won't want to be anywhere close to here. Yeah, Cash has made a special request to be on voice chat while we do this. Wait, you got more drops from yesterday. I think so. Oh, come on. I don't, I don't know if you've seen them already or not. What, you had an eye? <laughs> you were mailing. How in the world did you get an eye? Oh boy. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Gulp. <laughs> First kill of the day as well, dude. We haven't had a broadcast in three days. And you're just like out here like, yeah, I'm good night. Desperate times call for desperate measures. And times are getting very, very desperate. Cash has a leg piece and an eye and full masterwork and a lance. And I am still using a sun spear and rock shell. This is not good, and I can only think of one way to get out of this hole. It's risky, it's time consuming, but if we can pull it off, it could put us ahead in the challenge. I am not interested in rolling up the rune vest in an IRL fish mask, so this is pretty much my option. I've got a stream in 15 minutes, so we're gonna play through today's stream, and then as soon as I'm finished my stream, I'm gonna start executing the plan. I think it's gonna take 14 or 15 hours, and none of it can happen on stream, so I have no idea how we're gonna pull this one off. Hello Reaper, first order of business. All right, it's the last kill on the Reaper assignment, and then we get to grab another one, which is always fun. What do you got for me, Hellwer? Mm -hmm. That's a Seretic Essence. I don't think I can do- can I do anything with- I don't think I can do anything with that. I mean, I guess I could- no. I definitely can't do anything with that. <laughs> Woohoo! 14 Vindy on the Reaper. Yeah, I could do it. I just finished it Hellware though, so I'm gonna take a break, go to Rax, try and get a leg piece, and then we'll get the Reaper done. First kill of the day! Let's see it, Rax. Not bad. Second kill of the day, let's get it. Double Onyx again! Um, I guess that's just an elk at this point. Probably. Although, I'll need onyxes for Hydrox Jewelry, so, cool. We're kind of like leg piece or bust at this stage, but still. What do you got for me? Hey, that's a drop. Spider like top done. That's my first drop in like, three freaking days. I'll take it. No complaints here. Give. Whoo, okay. Okay, we back. Your boy is back! Now I'm only down a lance, full masterwork, and an eye. That's not too bad. And whatever Cash got today. That's not too bad. Cash has the same spider like piece as I do, but he got his when 1 3 was open. So I'm trying to figure out why he didn't do Light Path. Because if he'd done Light Path, he could have finished the entire weapon on 1 2, which is the current rotation. But because he didn't do that, he now has to wait until 2 3 opens to do Light Path and get that leg. So that actually helps me out a lot. That's a huge blunder for him, and that should buy me a couple days of extra time before Cash will end up with a Knock Staff. Because he's getting a Knock Staff. He's already got an eye. That's by far the hardest part. But. Yeah, we got some time. Back to back. <laughs> Stone Spirits Pog. Why didn't I just make a new account for the series? Because a new account would have been probably four months of hardcore questing and training skills to get to the fun part. Whereas starting on an account that has stats, saying no gear, no anything else, you literally just get the fun part. Nope. Who voiced death? I voiced death. Just with lots of audio effects because we're making these all in one night, the whole thing. So it's hard to find like a bunch of different voice actors. So yeah, I was death. Because I've been temple trekking for sharks, I've actually got a bunch of Talon Beast charms. And these pouches are pretty unreal. They're not quite as good as a Steel Titan, but close second. And I don't have any Steel Ingots. I got lots of these. So we're actually going to take a Talon Beast. 
to our Vindictor Reaper. First kill of the Reaper is gonna be Dragon Bones. Not too bad, pretty decent kill time I would say for not being on Aura, being right around 2 minutes at a 0% start, will be done in no time. Third kill of the Reaper, this is the kill where Cash got his Lance, and we're gonna get Dragon Hide. Kind of the same thing, Dragon Rider Lance, Dragon Hide... Sure. Hey, just gonna take a quick second here to say, if you see a stream over on Twitch that says like I'm quitting or I'm leaving or anything like that, not true, don't follow the links, they're completely fake, I'm working on getting them taken down, I'm literally doing everything I can about it. Hopefully you don't see one, but if you do, just know it's not me, it's fake, don't click on it. You know what, I'm gonna call it right now, if I get enough stone spirits to make like most of the masterwork, like, with stone spirits, yeah, I can make like a pair of pants or something, I don't know. Throw on Wrath for a drop. And... Get 22 Reaper points. That's not bad though, honestly. I spent the next two hours at Hellwer. There weren't really any notable moments because I didn't get any drops and there weren't any crazy close calls or anything. It's a bit of a monotonous boss, honestly. It puts me to sleep a little bit. So anyway, I don't know how I'm gonna manage to do a bunch of Hellwer later. I think the answer might be switching combat styles or going for speed kills, getting Adren pots and a Ring of Vigor and all that cool stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll have to figure it out because it's just the same rotation over and over and over again. And it gets a little repetitive to me. Either way though, first two hours done, it's good progress. You're gonna notice that after every kill, I leave the instance and then rejoin it. I do this because leaving the instance and then rejoining gets you a faster spawn time. So anyway, if you were wondering why I was doing that, it's a really sweaty thing. I wouldn't do it normally, but on a challenge like this, you know, I gotta take what I can get. Lost Grove? Yeah, we gotta go Grovey boys. Done. I have now done 865 Lost Grove creatures, even spanning before the start of this challenge, and I have not ever received a pair of Cinderbane gloves. So anyway, that's pretty interesting. We're like 60% of the way to the drop rate. What use does this guy have for gloves? Like, where's he gonna put them? There's no way they fit on those massive hand arm leg things. So, you know, give some to your boy. All right, that's the end of the task, 110 points. Nothing but mushrooms. On to the next one. Gotta be Vyres, right? Like, Vyres should be the... Yeah, gotta be. Solo number 91. Oh my god. Wait, have I done 91 KK solos without getting Onyx Bolts a single time? That might be even more unlucky than the Dragor. I forgot that was a drop. <laughs> Okay, I can already see the comments. Ryan, I thought you gave up on Calphite King. It's a terrible idea. You've already wasted so much time here. I know, I just, I did way too much Hellward today. I needed to do something fun just to unwind. I did a half hour of Calphite King. It, it's fine, I kinda had to. We've got the bus in the parking lot. Just gotta get it between the lines. Just gotta park it. What a parking job that was. Whew. Oh, good. Back to back stones. I love back to back stone spirits. Oh, buddy, merchant, you gotta stick around for like, give me 30 seconds, dude. Just give me 30 seconds to get some get some money out of the bank, all right? Oh, buddy, don't despawn on me. I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna buy a gift of the Reaper because it will likely get me a Amulet of Souls a day early. AOS is worth like, what, 200 in rage at least that I could go higher with it? Huh? I. Is it 1.25? I. Okay, maybe it's 1.25. Give. It is 1.25. Alright, give me. Done. We purchased our gift for the Reaper. Okay, on the small monitor right now, just because I'm editing at the same time. Trying to get through my Vyre's Slayer assignment. I've got about a hundred of them to do. The plan is going to be to head into the Wilderness, and I'm going to do Wilderness Slayer, but I'm only going to be doing tasks that can be completed in less than six minutes. So that's Green Dragons, Hellhounds, and Revenants. I'm going to be skipping literally everything else. I think I've got enough points for it. And in doing that, I should be able to kill literally thousands of revs while upgrading an emblem. If I can get an emblem all the way up to tier 10, which should take 112 Slayer assignments if I don't get PK'd a single time, I will then be able to buy myself a tier 87 obliteration staff. I've got the day off tomorrow, and if I can spend the entirety of tonight and then all of tomorrow doing Wildy Slayer, I think before my next stream, I could have a fully functional, fully fledged, fully automatic tier 87 staff, and then we could go to Talos right away. If I get lucky at revs, that's just an added bonus. You guys remember that bug like five years ago where the Abyssal Whip would glitch out like crazy? I feel like Devil's Snares are literally that bug, but 
as a plant? Pretty cool task though. Cash did this two days ago with a Dragon Rider Lance. I'm currently doing it with a Sun Spear, but it'll do. I'm token farming the first Elite Dungeon to get myself a Ring of Vigor. It should only take like an hour and it'll be useful for the whole rest of the challenge. So I'm getting that done now. Here we go. 46,500 tokens. Gone. I didn't know this was the case because it's different in old school, but apparently the Salve Amulet and Salve Amulet E actually stack with a Black Mask or a Slayer Helmet when you're doing Revenants. So we're at the Salve Mine, we're gonna mine a bunch of these just for any time I get PK'd, and then I think we're finally ready to go to Revs. I forgot my emblem, but task complete. That task took about four minutes, so not the end of the world. Nicely done, pick Revenants again, cool, cool. And now we will actually grab the emblem. It's like take two. This is rev task number six. On rev task number three, I got some corrupt Morgan's throne axes. So, you know, maybe every three tasks we can get something. I know a lot of the rev drops are like actually terrible, but once in a while, something good can happen. Oh no. Oh, we're sewered. Oh, we're sewered boys. Oh, we're so sewered. Oh, I'm so screwed. Oh no! Do we fight back? I'm on Legacy! What the hell am I gonna do on Legacy? Oh god, I'm dead. I'm literally sewered. Dude, it goes down to- Oh my god, I was one task from upgrading. Dude, that's freaking terrible. I'm not risking anything, so that's not a problem. Like, it's not the risk. I just lost all of my emblem upgrades. It's definitely not the PKR's fault. Obviously, you're in the worldly, you can get PK'd. I'm in legacy mode, so yeah, we run on a risk here. You know, speaking of legacy mode, it gets you the fastest rev kills, but I don't think it's worth it. For something like this, where I'm not just, you know, one item and killing the revs, and I actually do run a risk of losing a ton of progress on every death, we're going to be switching over to EOC. It should be a little bit slower, but I still think the tasks should get done in under six minutes, so we should be on pace to finish the 112, or I guess 120 tasks now, in a decent time frame. So anyway... That's the goal. Back on EOC mode. Hopefully it makes a difference. Uh, that is my first adrenaline crystal drop. So they come five at a time. I've done like 20 tasks. That's my first time getting that drop, but all right. Some people figured out that I was doing Wilderness Slayer and they decided it would be really funny just to camp all the Slayer spots and then hop every single world because Jagex removed the hop limit. So I am on the French servers. Welcome to Operation Wee oui, Wee oui, Baguette. This is where we secretly go onto the French servers and do all the Wilderness Slayer here in about a day. So let's do it. We're just starting right now. I've completed a total of 45 tasks. I think before I go to bed tonight, I want to get up to like 70 or 80. And then if I don't get PK'd a single time from this point on, I think I should have the full weapon complete at 130 tasks. It's a tall order, but I think we can do it. Oh my God, I got an Earth. An Earth de Dragon Bleu. Bah oui. What is that? Gant de... Bagarreur, Larcé. Oh, those are freaking brawling gloves! Oh, what, what are the. La thieving? I just got thieving brawlers. Hey, more adrenaline crystals. I'll take it. These are actually sick for P3 Telos because if you get to the red beam with 100% adrenaline, it means you can thresh twice, get down to 70 adrenaline, and then instantly pot all the way up to 100 for your onslaught. So I actually like these a lot. I'm gonna be trying to do all of the Telos on this series with these crystals, assuming I can get enough. Hey, that's another Revenant pet that does nothing compared to the revenant items like the weapons that do lots of things. Oh my god. I just got 24 Morgan's Javelins. They're tier 78. And even if I get the upgrade patch, I need 100 of them to make the actual permanent weapon. So I literally, that is the worst item I could have gotten. This is the loot from 1500 revenant kills on task. I've got the Javelins. I've got the Corrupt Morgan's Throwing Axes, and I've got the Corrupt Morgan's Coif. Oh boy. That is a Saren statuette. It actually sells to Mandrith for, I believe, a million coins, so I'm okay with it. Okay, that's task complete. Not too bad. So we've now finally maxed out rep on our tier six emblem, which means it, actually I thought it was gonna turn into tier seven right there, but it means one more task and then we get a tier seven emblem. It's not too bad. Have not seen a single PKR since switching over to the French servers. So this got a whole lot quicker. We're doing about 12 tasks an hour. So yeah, it's looking not too bad. I've got way too many of these upgrade kits. So I'm just gonna upgrade parts of my rock shell that are non-essential. So now I'm actually gonna start doing Wildy Slayer 
in the upgraded rock shell pants just because I already have better pants. I've got the Darok ones, they're augmentable. Upgrade the boots and these will be risked. So it's not the end of the world. I can get another pair very, very easily. So yeah, all of a sudden I am training Slayer in actual armor. I actually don't mind playing on the French servers. I haven't spoken French like properly in about five years, but it's kind of like a full childhood thing. So it's cool to see that I can actually still understand it and all that. So yeah, anyway, that's the end of the Prey Pots and we are good to go. Back to Wildy Slayer. Okay, so I was really bored while doing Wildy Slayer. So I was browsing the Alt-1 plugins and I found one that should turn red anytime there's a white dot on my map. So that's extremely cool. It doesn't give me like any advanced detection, but it just means I don't need to keep my eyes peeled on my minimap the whole time. Assuming it works. I don't know if it's gonna work, but if it does, that's gonna make this really, really cool. Oh, white dot. Oh my God, that's so cool. So when I'm done my task, I'm actually gonna run up this way and you'll see the second he gets off the map here. Okay. And then I'm gonna run back down. And then the second I get close to him, players that, that's so cool. Man, the person who made that, that's so cool. Oh, what is that? Oh my God, that's another pet. I hate the pets, man. These massive beams, dude. All right, that's my third Revenant pet. I don't know how rare they are, but I'm hoping they're not that rare. I mean, we've had three of them so far. Is that a, dra a corrupt dragon dagger? Oh boy. That's not what you want, but all right. Dude, we're gonna have like such a cool rev collection at the end of this. I'm actually so hyped. Oh yes, I finally got it. Oh my God, I was li I honestly didn't think I was gonna get one. So that is an upgrade kit I can use if I get any rev weapon, 2000 kills in, hasn't happened yet. But if I get a revenant weapon, um, that is the upgrade patch right there, so I can turn it from tier 78 to tier 88, and then I can augment it. We are one task from the upgrade to a tier 8 emblem. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. I am gonna go to bed, but we've made some really good progress here. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Wait, that's my first... Where is it? It's right over there. That's my first item that, uh... Huh. Can I, can I do anything with that? That's... That's a Morgan's Coif. I was pretty bummed to get another range item, but this one's actually relatively good. I thought it only lasted an hour, but I just read the wiki and it lasts 100,000 charges in combat. I have no idea when they made that update, but that means it's actually a useful tier 78 power armor ranged hood that I can use for pretty much anything I'm doing. All right, good morning, guys. This is my day off to spend the day editing, but I'm not actually editing. Let's go get another Slayer task. I am so tired of Wilderness Slayer. I did 71 tasks yesterday, and now we have to do another, I think like 50? So anyway, I mean, it's not, it's not optimal optimal, but you know what? A tier 87 at the end of today is going to be so sick. What are those? Oh my god, they're corrupt. Those are Stadius plate legs. All oh, those would have actually been pretty good, but oh well. Maybe next year we'll get something that isn't corrupt, but... You know, it's eight. Okay, so I've had nothing better to do for, you know, the last long time. Oh my God. That's my first useful item. That's a Vesta plate body. Um, okay. So we could upgrade that to augmentable tier 88. And it's like almost identical to Cash's masterwork. That's really funny. I was literally about to say, I did some thinking and I've had, you know, nothing better to do the last long time than just think about what items I would like to get from revs, even though I probably won't get anything. And I was gonna say, I don't think I want a Zuriel staff. I think I'm gonna end up with a staff anyway, that's fine. I think the best thing for me would be a magic play body. That's literally like what I was about to say as we get the melee play body. I'm still really, really happy with that. It means if nothing else, since we've got our tier 10 emblem, if we would like to, we can use our upgrade kit and we can get a really good melee top. I'm feeling great about that. Like obviously like what it could have been, whatever, but I, beggars can't be choosers. Like it's, a, it's an actual useful item, which is so much better than anything else we've had so far. I am fantastic with that. And also since hopping over to the French servers, which was like 50 or 60 tasks ago, I have not been PK'd a single time. So things are looking pretty okay right now. I'm not gonna lie. Team Ryan, uh, you know, we weren't in a great spot yesterday. Things are starting to feel a little better. So I was initially doing all my green dragons by the Dark Warriors Fortress, but it's a single zone, so it's kind of annoying, especially if you want to AFK. So 
This will be my first task here in the Frin 3 dungeon. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think it was completely safe, just in terms of like nobody being on this world or on the French servers. So I think we'll be okay. But yeah, if I start seeing PK errors or anything in this area, we'll just go back to the other green dragon spot. I feel like it's completely safe. Oh my God, that's a triplicate. And it's like, the, it's the one that's worth what, 40K? Yeah, 40K is what it sells for at Mandrith. Fair enough, dude, I'll take my 40K. Oh, what is that? Oh, come on, man. I'm gonna have a full set of Corrupt Dragon at this point. I'm gonna be the best dressed RuneScape player of all time. We've got, what, a battle axe, a dagger, a scimitar, a helmet, and now we've got a square shield. Oh my god, we're good! Holy crap, we found a PK on the French servers! Oh my god, that was really scary. What the heck? I think I got pretty lucky there because they should have had enough time to TB me. Uh, the way to lock it down is we're going to do tasks in slower, safer locations. I am so glad I had a glory. If I hadn't, I honestly think I would have died. That is the hundredth Wildy Slayer assignment complete. That's actually wild that we've done a hundred of these things. Ooh, five more Adren Crystals. Not bad. Oh my god, we did it. Tier 9. Didn't get PK'd. One more tier... 30 more tasks to go. We are actually so close. Home stretch, guys. We gotta get this going. We gotta get this done. We gotta play this safe and we gotta finish this. Oh, come on. It's more brawling gloves. <laughs> Those are prayer brawlers. I mean, you know, off series, not bad. But on series, you know, we're on the home stretch. I, I could care less at this point. If we don't get a single cool drop from Revs at this point, I am totally fine. I think that's kind of the beautiful thing about this strategy. It doesn't require any RNG. It's a slow, very slow, consistent method that will get us a weapon we can take to Telos. With or without any other supporting cast stuff, we're fine. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. <gasps> no, they're corrupt! No! Those, that's Zuriel's real bottoms. Those are literally like, that's tier... Tier 88 magic power gear bottoms, but they're corrupt, so I can't use the Oh my god. I was like, I was I went from so happy to so sad, so quick. That would have been literally perfect. Um <laughs> third pair of brawling gloves. Sweet. We uh we finally have a pair of agility brawlers. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, it's corrupt. I hate this. Wait, what is that? That is a Zuriel's hood. That's an awesome drop to see on the ground. If we use the upgrade kit on that, that's going to be a tier 88 magic head slot item, which is actually going to be best in slot in this challenge because the only thing better than this is Tectonic and we're a solo account, so we can't do Virago. I am very happy to see that on the ground. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice that. That's my fourth one of these Ceridome and Amphor things. Fair enough. Guess that's what we're getting. Lots of, lots of those. We've done 25 out of the final 30 tasks. Haven't been PK'd yet. If we get PK'd now, it's actually like, it's a full-blown disaster. The main objective was the staff and we are looking pretty close to the staff. So, you know, it is what it is. It's all good. Oh my God, I scold. What? Are you kidding me? I was literally, I was barging the... Oh God. Uh, you know what? Crap. I'm starting to think we may actually make it here. We've got to do two more tasks. That's it. Two tasks without dying. We haven't died in like 80 tasks. Come on. I'm really excited to, to say the very least. I've got no money. I've got no supplies, but we needed a way to get back into this challenge. Cash has no idea. He knows that I've like started Will Sarah. I've done some. There, he has no idea I've done this much. He has no idea that in the past, Two days, I have managed to do the entire thing. I have done 130 Wildy Slayer tasks in the last two days. We've absolutely just sent it here. So anyway, it wasn't much of a day off. Today was supposed to be like my rest day and then the next 10 days I'd be playing straight through and streaming every day. That's okay though. And you know what? Maybe we won't need another day off because you know, the challenge could be over by then. We're gonna be at Telos, but yeah, we should be able to go a lot further than that. I think I'm actually gonna be on normals right off the top. Goodbye, Rev Dragon. Wave goodbye, everyone. And we're done. That's a tier 10 emblem. We actually did it. We freaking did it, dude. Let's go. So this staff basically lets me skip racks. I, I'm still going to be doing racks, but off aura. I can start Telos beforehand, before anything else. I, I, I don't need a knock staff to start Telos anymore. I don't need an elder one or a both or one in 256 to start Telos. I can start Telos pretty much right now. 
This was such a long time coming. I didn't really want to have to do this because it was pretty much two full days of nothing but Wilderness Slayer. It's not the most engaging content on the planet, but with how far ahead Cash was, I just didn't see another way to get back into it. If I'm doing the exact same methods he progressed really quickly on, I'm just not going to make up ground. So this is a little bit out of left field, but the goal here is to completely skip Araxor, and I should be able to get some Ganodermic armor tomorrow, and then literally start off at Telos right away. In case you're wondering, this is the loot from 3,150 Revenants. With the amount of uniques we had, we should have hit the weapon drop table a couple more times, but it's not the end of the world. The primary objective was to get the Obliteration Staff, and I now have a magic setup before Cash does. We should be able to get to high enrages very quickly. 